Hello and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, my name is the Diamond Bullet, and today is a different type of video. So, all the other videos have been in multiplayer, but today I am in single player testing the one, the only Ford F Max. Now, this didn't have many upgrades, so this is as fully upgraded as it's got. And we are only going to Grimsby, so we're not using any pro mods or anything because I seem to keep breaking my single player. So, interior, only left hand drive apparently. Um, same as always, but you can't really see it. There's just no extra sat nav um, down there. So, we're carrying a 5x5 five five meter gear from Birmingham to Grimsby. Um, this is what the truck looks like. Um, yeah, there wasn't a lot of customizations to do with it. So it's going to take us three hours to get there. I am driving in automatic to this time as well because, well, it's a basic journey, so there's no point being in manual. It'll help the audio. And I do have to watch out for AI, but I can't see anything. So it always helps when you can't see anything and you've got to watch out for AI. Because I cannot see out of my other mirror. But I'm going to move across anyway. I don't even know what speed I'm doing. I'm only doing 25. It feels weird to be driving on the left hand of the truck. I'm going to have the F3 menu on because I can see what speed I'm doing this way. It looks a lot better on the video but it is actually pitch black on the screen for me right now. We should arrive about by the time it becomes daylight, so I don't have any beacons on this. I went for the blue backlights instead, which counts as part of the beacon, by the way, because there is no blue light in here as I'm clicking the beacon button. I can't even see the light. Nope, there it is. Mm -hmm. So once again this video is brought to you by the Ice Road. A lot of people seem to be testing this. I don't see why this is something that people are enjoying. I'm not enjoying this truck particularly much because of the lack of upgradability. If there was way more upgrades to do for it, then yes I would do it. But it's not made for heavy loads. Um, it's not made for loads full stop but it got truck of the year so that's like the only reason I'm testing it it got truck of the year so yeah I don't know why or how um, but in the game they ha clearly haven't done like a lot of the stuff because it's barely customizable and yet I'm still doing a heavy load with it. And yet I'm not going over 31 mile an hour. So. It is what it is. Now that this is on my single play. This is going to be in the big edited video. Um, all the trucks on this um, career are going to be in that video. There's 59 trucks. Well, 60 if you include this one. I 
Now, I'm not sure if there's anyone behind me or next to me, but I'm moving over. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I wish there was a lot more modifications I could make to this um, truck. You'll see some gaming trailers pass as well. That was a Counter-Strike um, trailer that just passed. There are Fortnite ones. Um, there's a whole bunch of mods that I've got installed. There's some GTA 5 vehicles on the road as well. Uh, you'll see some more of as well so I was just bored of the um, lack of vehicles that I could see or the lack of variety Horn sounds like this. And I haven't done any horn adjustments, but this is the basic horn. And this is the secondary horn. I think doing a heavy load in this was a mistake. Um, and this is why. It's not made for heavy loads, but I thought I'd put it to the test and do a heavy load with it. To install this, you just drag the zip file from the um, mod site. So you download it, you just drag and drop the zipped file into the um, mod section of your uh, documents, then your trucks in two folder. But yeah, I'm not enjoying this truck. I can think of many, many, many other trucks that I'd enjoy more than this. So clearly the mod creator hasn't completed this mod because there's practically no customizations I could do. And obviously the lights um, on the roof rack are modded lights. So that was a GTA 5 car that just passed. So yeah, this mod, I don't really rate it. Then again, compared to mods that crash um, my game, it's okay, it's kind of okay. There's another one. I also don't like the horns. And that is something else I don't like. It tipped and I wasn't even going that fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lag. I'm gonna abandon that. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to then click profiles. Yes. I'm going to go mod manager. All the pro mods um, part where well, I'm messing up my game. So I'm just going to go through all the mods that I've got. Macar. Um, Premier League is now incompatible because that hasn't been updated. Um, there's the gear. The gear was also a mod. How funny is that? Um, there's some gas monkey stuff. Now I think I got rid of it. Yeah, it looks like that. So. I'm going to exit the game and give you guys a tutorial on how to install a mod during this video. So, exit. Um, move this. Um, no, not like that. Um, I can go there. Um, then display. There we go. Um, so you're going to go to Google. Um, going to go to the mod. Um, ETS2 mods. This cycles up. I'm going to see if this works or not. I'm going to search up Tesla. And there is a Tesla truck mod. Here it is. Then you click download. Um, confirm download. Uh, click the free download. This is a little ad that they've got on it. So just click free download again. Wait for the download. While that's waiting, um, wanna go? You wanna go and open up your um, file explorer. Um, go to documents. Go to your truck sim mod. And this is where you put all the mod folders. As you can see, the fmax are just zipped folders. Click and drag, or not. Um, go back to it. Um, make this smaller. Uh, there we go. Click and drag that into there, like so. Move this back onto that page. Move this back over. Um, do that. Then I am going to launch the game again. Play. You can't see any of this because for some reason it doesn't let me show my main screen. Um, The reason I keep clicking is otherwise it won't actually launch the game properly and I won't be able to see anything. There we go. So here we go. Um, as you can see, this is the um, multiplayer, this is the single player. You can tell by the difference in levels. Um, but truck, own trucks 60. So mod manager, the Tesla truck. Hopefully that doesn't actually break the game because I thought I think it was actually the SES mod. Let's see. Not the SES mod, the Pro Mods mod. It was breaking my single player for some reason. Now I'll wait for the load.
this is genuinely how long it takes to load up because it's loading all my mods on. Just scrolling through Facebook while uh, this loads. Still waiting. And it's nearly done. Nearly there now. And it's loaded. Great. So now you go to truck dealers. Wait for it to nearly crash on you. Access to mod dealer. Then you've got all the mods that you can choose from. Um, there's the Tesla truck. I'm guessing the Tesla is put in the Volvo dealership for some reason. So there we go. Click customize. Well, this is fun. It's a great truck here, you see. It's amazing. There's the truck. Why is it causing so much frame drop? You're seeing this how I'm seeing this, by the way. It's not even the video. I can't even move my mouse. It's frozen. So this is why you don't get the Tesla mod. Because it likes to break shit. Like, I currently can't move my mouse. Wait, where did my mouse even go? My mouse has gone invisible. Oh no, it's up in the right hand corner. It's just a very laggy mouse now. Yay! So, um. Yeah, you don't want to install this mod. because it breaks the game. Now I don't even know where my mouse has gone. My mouse has gone for a wonder. So, oh my mouse is back. I can't do anything. So the best thing to do when you're hit with this, I can't even get out. I can't. Mm -hmm. mm. can't do anything. It's broken my computer. There we go. So I've got out of the game. We close the window. There we go. So uh Yeah that was a uh, something um I'm just getting something up real quick So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for coming out and joining me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.